Well, he's not changing his style, Vince. Staying aggressive, raises the 325,000 with the nine deuce offsuit. Brian going to call him with a king four. And the flop is an 8-8 eight, eight deuce, so James Romero out flopping, gets deuces. Made two pair on the flop with that junk hand, so why not bet 200,000? Ryan from Chicago is going to make this call. Just king high. He's splashing around, hoping to get lucky, but not there. An eight hits, so eight's full of deuces there for James Romero. Well, Ryan checks again. James is never going to put him on a pair because he didn't re-raise before the flop. So he's got to feel his eight's full of deuces with the best hand right now. 500,000. Put a little pain in the game for Ryan. If you want to call, you're going to have to pay, but he's going to pay. Well, Ryan thinks there's a possibility the king high might be good here. River card, no help for Ryan as a seven hits. He's going to check again. You put in the value bet if you're James. Makes a bet, 1.2. Well, that's a big bet, Vince. Over half the size of the pot. Going to make it tough on Ryan to call here with just king high. Nope, Brian's going to give it up. So James Romero extends his chip lead in this heads-up battle. Until he's played only two WPT events. This is his second cash, first final table, and this time he's got a 9-4. He is raised, and Mosin with a queen-10 just calling. Lots of cat and mouse play going on down the stretch here. Here's the flop. It's king-10, Jack. Well, Mosin's got a pretty good hand. Bottom pair with an open-end straight draw. A silly... Makes a continuation bet, of which Mosin calls. So we're going to the turn here. And eight of hearts comes off. Neither player has a heart in her hand. Mosin checks. And Vasily will also check to the river we go. It's a queen of hearts. Now there's four hearts on the board and an open end straight. Vasily has that. He has a little straight. He is betting. The sucker into the straight here, Vince, 75,000. Only way he's gonna get called is if he's beat, in my opinion. Mosin lays down two pair. He'll make it 400 to go. Mattis, though, with an impressive ace-queen of diamonds, just calling. Interesting just call from Mattis. Slow playing a little bit pre-flop here with a very strong hand. Flop is a 984. Yeah, Mattis is in some ways outflopped by Darren here. Mattis still in the lead, but Darren, with two overcards and an open ender, will likely have an easier time playing this hand in position. He's going to bet 350. Mattis going to stick around, see the turn. Can Darren find his straight here? Nope, it's a five. And that's a decent card for Modis's calling range in the big blind. So Darren will bet it some of the time, but also slow down. Yeah, I'll be slowing down, just hoping to hit something crazy. And he does so, hits his straight just like that, the nuts. Manis with nothing, he's gonna check it. Now Darren is just praying that Modis has a six for a nine high straight. So if I'm Darren, I'm probably going to bet on the big side. Modest either has a hand that can call a bet and a large one, or something that's going to give up. And it's 1.3 million from Darren. Unfortunately for Darren, Mattis only ace queen, and he's got to let that go. But Darren Elias looking good. He's the Jake and Eric bringing up the rear. All right, let's go to the felt. Eric Afriot, the clothier, the non-professional player this time with an attractive ace jack. Makes it 500 to go. Yeah, and behind him, Jake. Yeah, I've been pretty much card dead at this final table so far. He's gonna fold. James Mackey with a king eight. Doesn't want any part of that. Goes out, but Muckle has picked up a little pair of fours. Just a little over seven to start. Thank you. Welcome. Very polite. What's that? Were you always this polite? Yeah, generally. Pretty good. Pretty well, good. Uh, some needle. Well mattered. 
can take up from a good family. A little small talk at the table. Well, he is polite, and therefore he makes a polite call. Yeah, right, fours versus ace jack, and the flop is a seven six deuce. So fours in front. Well, it goes check check on the flop. Turn is an ace. Hallelujah for the Montreal man. He's hit aces. Uh, Muckle is checked again, and six fifty. Six fifty now bet by Eric. With the two aces. Tough call to make. Well, Michael gonna make the call here, just hoping his opponent's got something like king, queen, king, jack, queen, jack. Whereas two fours are the best hand. He's in trouble. Down to the river. Uh, another six pairs the board. Michael's gonna check. 975. Well, 975,000 now the bet. Now, what's interesting is Muckle. Heard Eric on the last hand call out his money of 750. He said it verbally instead of just betting it, and he was bluffing. So maybe Muckle's thinking, you know what? When this guy calls it out, this could be a tell. He's going to make the call. It's a bad one. And Eric's going to show the winner. WBT Global is giving away $50 if you go sign up for an account right now and put a dollar in there. Go to WPTGlobal.com. Use the code Poppy and put at least one dollar in your account anybody got a dollar around you find a dollar in, in the couch put a dollar in your account and uh, they'll give you a 50 dollar bonus most sites don't really give you anything these days so but yeah for free go sign up use the code poppy and and uh get fifty dollars he served in the air force now as a poker pro here he picks up ace king is going to raise it makes it seventy-five thousand to go Behind him, Dan O'Brien, the former day trader, calls with the queen jack of hearts as Andy Seth goes away. Here's the flop. Uh, flop king, 3-3. Three, three. That's a great flop for McLean. He's going to lead out and bet here. It's like 115,000. And amazingly, Dan is going to make the call. If you didn't have ace king there, you'd be very afraid Someone making a call with that flop. Now the deuce of hearts comes off. So now Dan has made a flush draw. But still he's up against the top pair and top kicker. Well, again, McLean betting. This time 265,000. And again, Dan calls, but now he has a flush draw. Can he be so lucky and hit a heart right here for the flush? No, not to be. Four clubs comes off. So McLean feeling pretty good about that card. This time making a healthier bet, 580,000. Dan O'Brien is not folding his hand rapidly though here, Vince, but he finally lays it down. Yeah! What is he thinking after that flop? He got involved and he loses a pretty big one. Camel at the table. Boy, he has a very good catheter. <laughs> Not sure, but <laughs> what a character. Blinds are up to 40 and 80,000 now, Mike, with the $10,000 Annie, and the action's right back on Pat. And looks down at the King Queen offsuit. Raise. He's going to raise it. Looks like 205,000. Yep, Ben going out, and now Todd Peterson with A7. Does he want to wake up? And is in position, but you just don't want to call a raise with that hand. He gets out of the way. Pesh with a king three also gets out of the way. Two, oh, five, I go. So back on William, who has a pretty solid ace ten of clubs. Certainly going to make the call here at least Two, out five. of the big blind. I go. Yeah. I check right. Oh, he doesn't want to punish him. Doesn't re-raise, but checks blind again. Well, Pat doesn't bet blind. The guy next to him, Zamani does, Ooh. but he loves this flop, the top two pair. Pat Lyons hitting kings and queens. And he will come out with the continuation of 205. Vo is going to stick around, makes this call. Well, you can't blame him for calling here. He's got a gut shot straight draw, backdoor flush draw. You call, you might slow your opponent down. Let's see what happens on the turn. Mm. Well, it's the nuts for Pat. Hey, William drawn completely dead. He checks, and I'm surprised Pat didn't check here, but he obviously knows William better than I do because he bet 505,000 and got called by a man drawn dead. 
Low just doesn't want to hit here. That's for sure. Five of diamonds okay. doesn't hit, so he checks again. Sometimes you're better off when you miss your draw. Right. This is one of those times for William. Pat putting out, oh, two million. And Vo, just because he'd been pushed around so much tonight by guys on his left, got stubborn here. Well, that's two million, a very big bet here. The pot's only got 1.9 million in it. Pat it? bet sizing here to try to represent a bluff. Yeah, and finally, William Vo does the right thing, lays it down. Pat Ryan's gonna pick up the pot. Five players remain. WPT Global is giving away $50. If you go sign up for an account right now and put a dollar in there, go to WPTGlobal.com, use the code POPPY, and put at least $1 in your account. Anybody got a dollar around, you can find a dollar in, in the couch, put a dollar in your account, and they'll give you a $50 bonus. Most sites don't really give you anything these days. So, but yeah, for free, go sign up, use the code POPPY, and, and uh, you get $50. Of an upset in the making. Jason Brin from Kansas with 24 million out in front. Non professional player. Andy with about 11 million. Here we go. Andy with a big hand this time. Ace King. And it's suited. And he will raise to 1.2. The blinds are three and six. Makes the min raise. Jason's going to stick around with a seven three of diamonds. Well, we've seen. He plays about every hand here, playing heads up. And he's outflopped his opponent again. He's got bottom pair, two threes. Jason's going to check the threes. Oh, Andy, well aware those middle cards could hit his opponent. Yeah, he's losing confidence. He's <laughs> no continuation. Here comes the turn. He hits the ace, though. Jason checks. Oh, that's beautiful. Top pair, top kicker. And he is going to wager here 1.6 million. 3.2. Oh, and look at this. The min raise out of Jason here. That's very scary. Well, yeah, Vince, he could have a flush draw. He could have a straight draw. If he's got two pair, you're just done. But I would raise him right here in case he was on a drawing hand. Andy making the call. So we're going to the river. Is this going to be it? Problem. Going to the river. Four hearts comes off. Action on Jason. All in. Well, he's gone all in here. What pressure he is applying to Andy. Man, this is I don't know, Vince, it is tough. And I say it's tough because Andy's still got over six and a half million in chips if he folds where he can play on, but. If his opponent's really got this hand, he's going to be broke. And as you can see, he is very antsy right now. Uh, well, Vance, that's why I say you should raise on the turn with this hand. If he's got you beat, he just got you beat. Good luck to him. Mm -hmm. But now he's going to chance to get outplayed here. I'm doing the, the chicken dance here. Yeah, he'll never be the same after this. Oh, Vance. Oh, I hate to see it happen. Oh, get ready for the straight jacket. He's gonna oh. lay this down. He laid it down. Vance, he should have just made a step down. Look at this, James is gonna show him. Oh. Well, he has sent Andy to La La Land now, Vince. You're right about that. The guy just can't believe he would get fluffed by a carpet man from Kansas. Now the blinds are going up to 20 and 40. The big blind, Andy, is 40 as well. Modest completes with 10-3 offsuit here. Now with Matt, he will check queen seven in the big blind. And it's a flop of king, queen, deuce. So Matt was already in the lead but now is so far out in front of Modest that it's almost impossible to catch up. Well, Modest is going to take a stab at it. 40,000. Matt, of course, flopping queens. Makes an okie-dokie call. And the turn is a four. No help to either player. Modest now officially drawing dead. He can only win by betting. Now 
I wonder if Matt will pick up on some of the uncertainty. And he'll take more time. He's going to bet 125. Now, Matt has disguised his strength pretty well here. I think that Matt has a pretty comfortable call at this stage, and the real decision will be on the river if Modus were to go for it. And that's a big if. Matt's made the call, and nothing happening for Modus on the river. Well, that eight does miss all the draws. If you were worried that Modus had spades or, you know, jack-10, nine-ten kind of stuff, it all whiffed. So now Modest is saying, maybe I could take it right now. All in. Oh yeah, that's what he's gonna try to do. He's going all in with nothing, 10 high. This is the only way for Modest to win this hand, but eight of hearts is actually a very safe card on the river for Matt's hand. Is he gonna put the pieces together and end this tournament with a call? Or is he gonna let Modest get away with this? Matt Waxman, one call away from this title. Needs more time. What will Waxman do? Oh, look at this. He looks like he's gonna throw it away, maybe. Oh, but he's got the chips cut out. False alarm, Vince, he's gonna call and win! Modest turns up the bluff, Matt Waxman is your champion on a great call. And right now, the Andes are going up to 20,000, blind 60 and 120. Get more expensive here in Philly at the beautiful Parks Casino. 250. Right now, Reynolds is gonna raise with a nothing hand. 10 4 makes it 250 to go. Anthony gonna call with King 9 of Diamonds. Anthony Grigg out front at the moment. And flop comes ace jack six with two diamonds. Anthony's flopped a flush draw. Check. He checks. He's going check, check. Now a nine comes off. So Anthony now has two nines and a flush draw. He's first to act. He's going to check it again. Let's see if he's going to check as well. That goes check, check. Now a 10 comes off. Steven now has the best hand with two 10s. So all the trapping Anthony was doing, probably not doing him very good. Wow, Anthony has checked. 180. And finally, Reynolds gonna come up with a little bit of a value bet here. Yeah, well, it is a value bet here, Rince, of 180,000 and a good one, but look at this. The check raised by Anthony Gregg right here. And Vince Stevens saying to himself, why didn't I just check there? I might have won with two tens. And in fact, he would have. WBT Global is giving away $50. If you go sign up for an account right now and put a dollar in there, go to WPTGlobal.com. Use the code POPPY and put at least $1 in your account. Anybody got a dollar around, you can find a dollar in, in the couch. Put a dollar in your account and they'll give you a $50 bonus. Most sites don't really give you anything these days. So, but yeah, for free, go sign up, use the code POPPY and, and uh, get $50. Lines are going up to 80 and 160,000. And right now Faraz with 11.1 .1 million. Alex Gomez with about 5 million. Yeah, Faraz with over a two to one chip lead starting out in this heads up battle. And it's on the Brazilian to act first with the button. He's got a six deuce of hearts. Alex Gomez, the former lawyer who's turned poker pro, already the most successful poker player in Brazilian history. Well, Alex has raised, makes it 425, and Faraz with queen ten of spades has just called. Here's the flop. And flop comes king, king three. Faraz out in front with the queen high. Well, he has checked and Brazilian also going to check. The turn card is an ace of clubs. Inside straight draw for Faraz now. Well, he's going to lead out and bet. But look at this, Vance, with just a six deuce, the Brazilian coming over the top for $1.5 million. You've got to love the bongos on this Brazilian. Unbelievable. Well, Vance, he's representing to his opponent that he's got an ace in his hand by making this play. 
or possibly even the king in his hand. And I can tell you, even though the guy's got the best hand with Queen High, you can't stand a raise in that situation. Saw the bluff. Embarrass me. Yeah. <laughs> Embarrass me. Good to see. He would yeah. love to show this nah, bluff. Okay, I'll show this time. He's doing it. He did. I, I asked for it. Yeah, he asked. I, I wanted to be it. embarrassed. That is a needle <laughs> in the knee.